Hey guys, welcome to Offshoot Commerce Off Topic. I'm your host, Kirby Kid, also known as David Clark. And today, this is Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans episode 4, plus a little bit of an announcement for next week. So, this episode wasn't really action packed, it was a transition episode. Uh, basically, they get their new logo, which is the flower symbol you see on all of the Gunpla for, um, for Gundam Barbados. You, you see that they have a ship that they're renaming to the something with an eye I'm just gonna I'm gonna overlay it here <laughs> they're going they're getting ready to go to earth they got a company but they got a company to help them through the shady bald guy who you should be seeing on the screen right about now he's super untrustworthy and I'm pretty sure they're going to murder him at some point um, but yeah he got them through uh, it was just kind of like negotiations and you know the guys from earth are were inspecting he almost hit Cookie and Cracker, which, by the name, those are, those are stupid names. How are you gonna name them after food? But and then we learned a little bit about human debris, which are people who have basically been sold in the slavery. Um, and Orga actually gave his his people who were human debris. He gave them their their paper stating that, which basically makes them free, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh, Mika went psycho again when he thought that Cookie and Cracker had been hit by the guys from Earth. He uh dang near choked the dude out <laughs> so and we learned a little bit about the, fin the finances of the uh, of Mars Mika took uh, Relina Peacecraft out to the cornfield and he was like how much do you think this costs and she's like oh well, 200 uh, whatever our money is he's like nah it's like 50 we broke sister <laughs> but um so yeah it, it wasn't it wasn't like super duper exciting but it was a uh, it was nice to get a little background of the world. Um, the Gundam didn't really do anything. There was no real fight, um, and it was weird though because even though there wasn't a lot of, there wasn't any fighting, it, the episode went by really quickly. So I'm really liking the writing. Usually, if in a Gundam series or any kind of anime series, if there's no action per se, an episode can drag on. But if, if, if there's a fighting anime that has no action in an episode and it still goes quickly, that means it's a good show. Uh, so I'm, I'm really hyped for this and I'm, I'm glad that even the quote-unquote boring episodes are still exciting. I'm still having trouble differentiating Yalahorn from the Earth people and now we know there's different blocks on Earth and Rolina is uh, negotiating with what looks to, used to be Russia or something. I'm interested to find out more about that. And, uh, oh, so for the announcement, next week we'll be at Stanley's Kamikaze. We'll be there Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, so if you happen to be in the L.A. area, uh, just drop by, you know. I believe you can buy tickets at the door, too, but I would suggest buying them on uh, kamikaze.com or kamikazeexpo.com. And uh, come see us in small press. It might just be me. Uh, Walter is still in the hospital, and uh, he, the doctor hasn't cleared him to, um, to leave just yet so there'll be a few more weeks of me just going solo hopefully hopefully you don't hate me by myself <laughs> um, but just keep me your thoughts and prayers but yes please come see us at Kamikaze um, a couple of our artists will be out there so you'll be able to meet um, some more of the behind the scenes people at Offshoot please come see us over at Kamikaze uh, we're debuting two new books um, we're doing the volume two of our kids book Heroes Are Us called uh, Who Is Kid Clash and then we also have a, a, a brand new series called Sanctioned. Um, this is our, our first female lead and we're, we're really excited about this. And uh, we're reissuing some of our old books in a higher quality format. So uh, if you're interested in coming out and getting to know us personally or getting to know our books, um, we appreciate you dropping by. And uh, let us know you're a subscriber and we'll, uh, we'll give you a discount or a gift or something. I mean, it's Halloween, if I just throw candy at you, who knows? But uh, that's it for this week, guys. Until then, after Kamikaze, I've been your host, Kirby Kid, and I'll see you later, guys.